12 months ago, I drew my first drawing. And ever since, I wanted to create my own manga. But only recently have I felt like I can create an action panel and not have my brain melt. So today, I'll be taking a huge step forward towards creating my own manga. Except things are already looking rough. I added some speed lines to a character I just drew. And to be honest, it looks like I put splinters all over the place. He looked like a porcupine. But hey, this isn't too bad for the first action character attempt. I'll take it. All right, so I'm about to do take two. But now I knew not to go crazy with the little splinters. All right, take two's finished and... Boom. Here's a second action pose. And this is looking so much better, bro. I did not think it was going to end up like this. I put some thicker lines towards the impact. I think my favorite part here is like the fire. The fire that doesn't look like fire. But yeah, again, I think this looks great. By the way, normally whenever you make a video, you want it to go like progressively higher and higher the stakes. But bro, I don't know how I'm going to top myself or I should say I'm scared to. Ah, uh, please send help. Well, I guess for the rest of the video, I'm just going to be trying to top myself. All right, so now I'm going to try to get this drawing some focus lines. Now, I was going to draw them, but I just decided to use the focus line tool, which took an hour to learn how to use. But all right, it's been added and boom, I've created something else to top. Loki, I should have just sabotaged myself. It looks so good. But all right, what did I add here? Well, I added some white glow, which isn't really a glow effect. It's mainly so that she stands out from the background. Also, this light right here is very important because it gives like the viewer somewhere to look. And I was trying to get them like one punch man's focus lines because I just really like the way they look. Like I think they're like the perfect amount of thickness. But all right, guys, before I continue drawing manga panels, I need to get at least a little bit faster because these action poses are no joke. And if I'm going to be drawing some more, I want to be a little bit faster. So I want to do some gesture drawing. However, here's the thing. I hate gesture drawing more than getting a bunch of pollen stuck in my eyes. And sad story incoming. Prepare to tear up. So basically, I have done a lot of gesture drawings, but I have always hated them. They've always felt like I was getting nothing done. So I stopped doing them and switched to figure drawing. And when I switched to figure drawing, I was like, yo, this is working so well and i definitely made some progress but eventually i realized hey this is not working as well as i thought it was working because i couldn't really draw without looking at a reference and then eventually i realized i just need to focus on these minuscule 3d pieces like to the max and the most tragic part about it all 3d is actually the first thing i learned and as soon as i came back to it everything became so much easier so basically i was so close to unintentionally speed running art but yeah as you can assume i haven't touched just a drawing in like eight months but since I haven't tried it in months, that's why I'm trying it right now. In fact, I'm already done. So what are my first impressions? I still hate it. If I wanted to be quicker, I should have taken some Adderall. It feels like I made zero progress. I'm not even gonna lie. But even though I'm hating it, there is no point in deciding whether I like it within an hour. So I'm gonna give it a longer chance. But if I do that, I'm gonna do it right. And I'm gonna be even looser with my lines. I've been trying to make sure that the structure and gesture match each other. But now I'm just gonna trust that I practice 3D anatomy enough that I can just wing it. Also, I'm gonna give myself a five minute timer. All right, guys, I'm an hour in and not gonna lie. I think I was traumatized. It slowly started to turn into a good time. And these are looking pretty damn good. Also found out that I can be a lot quicker than I thought. This might actually be one of my favorite moments in a long while. But I will say, without me drawing hundreds of boxes the last video, which allowed me to draw the 3D pieces quicker, this would have been absolute hell. I would have been crying my eyeballs out, ripping them out, maybe. And so my take on gesture drawing is, gesture drawing is like the icing, while the 3D structure is like the cake. Good icing cannot save a bad cake and also icing's easier to make than cake i don't know if that's a hot take but i think it's true all right guys we're a step closer to the hard part making manga panels but before i even continue i feel like i need to study them some more because the worst feeling is creating something good and then never being able to create it ever again all right so right now i'm studying a bunch of panels they're from mangas like one punch man chainsaw man don to don and something i found interesting is that they all draw action like completely different for don to don overall usually instead of putting the speed lines inside the characters he usually puts them around them but if the scene is crazy he puts speed lines in the black clothing lastly for chainsaw man he tends to go simpler with the speed lines but i think he does some crazy stuff with blood which like i feel like it gives like the same effect as speed lines but yeah i thought all this was really cool it was a little bit overwhelming with all the choices i had but i got it all right guys i've drawn some panels and i'm not gonna lie they look awesome. They look awesome. And the goal here was to make the characters look like they're moving really fast. And so personally, what I found here is adding focus lines make the drawing faster than anything else. Like right here, she looks like she's really sliding. I also put her like out of the panel, which kind of adds to the speed or at least bonus points. But next, I wanted to see what's the main thing that makes something feel fast besides focus lines. Like what's number two? I feel like number two is specifically speed lines outside of her body, not inside. And it kind of gives me like the same feeling as focus lines. Also, 
also here i like the way the shadows turned out i thought it turned out pretty cool and i got this from one punch man because normally he puts a lot of speed lines where the shadows are all right now next i do something that is kind of normal i drew a non-action pose but i just wanted to see what like hatching would look like on this character and i feel like it does make her look a bit scarier or like menacing i should say and lastly i drew this and this is looking pretty cool the focus lines this time are following the punch direction and yeah this has overall been a fun day <laughs> again i did not expect them to look so damn good i should have made like a little mini manga like a little one punch man manga but again i wasn't expecting it to turn out this well and with these drawings i feel like i've gained so much so much respect for manga artists there are 200 pages in a manga which is about six panels per page so that's a thousand two hundred panels which is absurd even if just like 10 percent of them are five panels that is so many their skill is absurd but all right guys it's day four so i only have four more days left and so today i'm just gonna do my very best to complete everything i had planned on doing so i studied hairstyles i did a re-up on eyes i studied some expressions i looked at fubuki's folds because they're really nice i studied jojo pants because they have big baggy pants i also try to get better at drawing hands as well but most importantly the mouth because bro i haven't said this but mouths take so long to draw i don't know how it happened like this but mouths became harder to draw than eyes and it's been like that for like at least a month now all right so i've done a deep dive on the lips now and holy bro i did not understand the mouth that well at all and you know it's kind of funny because i feel like for these last few days of my art journey a huge part of it has just been me realizing that i have been thinking of a lot of stuff as 2d shapes instead of 3d shapes i'm basically just like rewriting my past poor understandings and real quick let me just explain what has helped me the most during my journey so far and so for the longest time i've known 3d but i wasn't actually fully fully thinking in 3d and the best thing i did to realize this was just to look at a 3d model more than looking at anime faces or even human faces if you look at it like a 3d model and then look at the very minuscule pieces you will start to understand 3d even better and again this is the second video i've said this because it's just so important but yeah i hope that helps all right so i've been grinding it out all today and my last goal is i want to get better at drawing the bottom of the draw something i'm able to do but i currently feel like i'm just winging it and like i said before currently the under chin feels like a 2d object whereas i want to get it down as like a 3d object so i tried getting understanding of that but oh more importantly look at the buzz cut another goal of mine was to work on the hairline because i hate hairlines they were so hard to draw for so long all right so i planned on getting off but instead i decided to shade one of my favorite character jester two of them were supposed to be yawning but they don't look like they're yawning however i think it still looks pretty cool though all right guys next i wanted to line art another one just really quick but then when i finished this drawing i was like eh this is kind of boring <laughs> so then i decided to frame it with the cactus but then i was like eh i just wanted to add something random just really quickly and be like yo it's so much better but <laughs> i don't know what to add to this drawing this is the point i realized wait i got like a little manga going on here and so lastly i just chopped her head off obviously the only conclusion that can end here but all right guys i run out of time tomorrow is day seven and i want to give myself two days to draw some art for the finale and damn guys there's been so many ups and downs it felt like someone stuffed my mental state into a sock and swung it around and now i think i'm ready to finish this video off with a bang and guys i'm just gonna push every piece to the max of what i can do all right three two one the ending theme is childhood characters grown up and gone wrong and firstly here we got luigi taking bowser's place as the villain <laughs> and next we got dora the gangster who has kidnapped people and put them in her basement and lastly i wanted to jump on the velma hate train so i just drew her getting jumped by the ogs <laughs> <laughs> also no comment on scooby doo i don't know how to draw a dog please leave me alone but wow man i think i got some strong strong camera angles on these pieces i think that's the part that i'm most proud about and bro not gonna lie i just got like a rush to the head because damn i could really start making a manga like tomorrow it would look really good i'm not sure when i will but the fact that i could is awesome i'll be posting updates and art pieces on twitter so look out for that you know what i'll actually start posting daily on there and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this series thank you for making it this far that's crazy and have a good day peace